This video clip's following one where I was ski towing using the wing and the breeze to go up to the left away from where the pickup was parked and from some fairly decent flying but still not too good. It's overcast at the moment so we're not getting any farm action. Anyway, the alternate way of getting over to the ridge at the left is to use the breeze that comes through the gully here to ski tow up to the right. Now this uh, a lot depends on how the lift is but fortunately there's some wee birds of prey here, wee kestrels etc. So you can often look up and see where different parts of the hill have an on slope breeze despite the wind direction where you are or on a different part of the hill. In this particular time of the day we didn't have any kestrels up but uh, I'd done several flights off to the other side so I thought well use the ski tow method to get up here. And it speeded up as you can probably gather. The actual time to take to get all the way up to the top using the wing was just around about three minutes. So even on a very light breeze day like today when you can't just fly up, it does not take long and certainly a lot less effort than carrying the paraglider up. So I'm constantly looking around checking the airspace and as mentioned on other videos, the camera view, even with the wide angle lens on this, the camera view is a lot narrower than you get with your view on your eyes. So when you're looking round, you really are looking round much more. And one of the things I tend to avoid with the camera is looking straight up, because it messes with exposure. Obviously, flying sight, you want to be checking for anybody that might be flying above you. So, step the wrong way, and launch to jump the gap. The main aim being here, is to fly across and with lighter conditions and no sun on the immediate hill you're just aiming to land reasonably high up on the cattle track that goes up the top of the ridge essentially it's to the the lower hill which is a good south face southeast is not too bad and it's got a very nice east face as well which uh, was only just using a little bit it's more the thermal off the top earlier on and touch down, keeping the wing flying, step the wrong way, using harness control, hardly any brakes really used. When you've got the brakes on you tend to be just a wee bit on and hold. And that's because because it's a relatively low rated wing, although this particular one is also 24 years old. So it was uh, from 1992. A few modifications to it but uh, mainly just on the riser sets changed over the design from the advanced original to using Nova risers. So it's not a video with lots of great flying, it's really just showing you ground control. So you're going along, you're constantly assessing what the wind condition is like and any little thermal bubbles, which we don't really have at the moment. Looking at the slope, trying to decide, go for the high ground, glide across wee hollows to go forward or just continue along. And every so often the wind conditions, physical position, the shape of the slope and the hill in front will be just right and you'll just see going back to normal, real time and little glides. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. No committed launch, you do not want surge and dive. Just gliding across, gliding across, coming in, touching down, tiny bit of brake if necessary, and then back to the harness control to walk along the next bit. And again, step the wrong way, get the wing rolled, get the wing doing the work. Now as usual, constant checks of airspace. They're also looking for fixed hazards, movable hazards, whether it be people, vehicles, cattle, that sort of thing. They're also looking around to see out front any indication of extra lift that you weren't expecting because it, the lighting hasn't changed. If you suddenly see a bunch of birds coring up, clearly there's some thermals drifting with the wind. So if you're not always looking around assessing, you really shouldn't be flying. And again, tiptoe, tiptoe, we glide, 
across the top. So I don't know whether it was 100 years ago or whatever, but there was quite a lot of little bits of quarrying on top of this hill. So there's lots of little dips, wee rock piles. Sometimes you just use the wing to walk round them, sometimes it's easier just to fly over them. Now the very end of this clip which we're coming up to is actually on another clip and it's just flying back down to the pickup.